Welcome to Inspired. It's a premiere show tonight. Before we start the show, I would like to thank everybody who's involved into this project from all over the world. Second of all, I would like to thank Transit Driving School for sponsoring this great initiative. And of course, Nagari TV. Thank you for giving us a platform to present our ideas to give a boost to our communities. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a guest in our studio today. He's a successful entrepreneur, uh, the founder and managing director of Transit Driving School, Saiful Batwari. Welcome, Saiful. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Anwar. How are you doing? Good, thanks so much. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Wonderful. What a beautiful evening. Absolutely, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, before we go live, asking him some question about his uh, successful journeys in Canada, would like to show you some clips that we had an opportunity to visit his uh, head, head office uh, in La Salle. And we had a productive conversation there. Uh, we talked about his success uh, business, uh, business strategies, uh, friends, families. So ladies and gentlemen, please, let's take a look into the clip. Stay with us. Thank you. Saifal, how are you? Hey, Anwar, man. Good to see you. Everything's good? Uh, everything's good. How is everything? Nice. Good to see you. All right. Thanks a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you look good, man. Thank you. You look the same, you know? Uh, thank you, Saifal, for inviting us to your head office in La Salle. Uh, we really appreciate it uh, on behalf of Team Inspired and on behalf of Nagori TV. Um, how are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you so much. So, we know that you've got a huge business setup. You worked really hard and you have inspirational stories to tell. That's why you are here today. Uh, uh, we'd like to know a little bit detail uh, about your business. You don't have to give us a complete detail, but you know, you can tell us briefly. How are you doing? Uh, you know, how is your business? Business is great. We work hard, and you know, when you work hard, you accomplish anything you want to accomplish. And aim high. You receive. Uh, you get your results. That's pretty inspirational. Yeah, you got to always aim high to achieve your uh, minimum level of goals. You know. So now, um, I know that you have a big business, you got a lot of branches around Montreal, uh, a lot of people are working with you. Uh, is this possible to tell us like, you know, how many uh, working you are work with, how many people you are working with? Well, I have between 48 to 52 co-workers. I call them co-workers, I don't know employees. And we have 11 branches within the city of Montreal and the surrounding area, South Shore, North Shore, East and West, together 11 branches. And what do you pay you? That's really wonderful, pretty inspirational. I know you have a huge business, you are super busy, you work 20, seven days a week, almost 24 hours. Uh, uh, I know we all have families, and is there anything you want to mention about your families? I have a great family. Family comes first, family is everything, and that's how it should be. Uh, I got two boys, and great boys, a four year old and eight year old. And the success behind me and my accomplishments is my wife. She's supportive, very, very supportive in everything I do, mentally, you know, financially, everything she is there for. That's great, you know, but we all want to have a great life partner who support us for every positive things that we want to do in our life. Thank you, and uh, uh, I know you've got a good friend circle too, you know, so how, how about your friends, uh, what do you want to say about them? I have great friends, I'm surrounded by great friends, and they're always there when I meet them, you know, starting from having lunch to having dinner, you know, whenever I need, I'm stressed out, call my friends, go for lunch, and we joke around, you know, we chit chat, it kind of relaxes me, it takes out a lot of stress from me, you know, and then it's a, like a reset button, you know, and then you come back and you go but to work. I have noticed something that, like, even uh, if we talk to our friends, we talk about something, you know, progressive, productive, you know, we joke about, we joke, but we don't joke about things that doesn't make any sense or, or not meaningful. Uh, and this is what we do. I think you do that too, right? You know, so. Well, with my friends, I always debate. Yeah. And by debating, you actually get some knowledge, and you give some knowledge. Yeah. There's always something to learn. It doesn't matter how intelligent you are, yeah. or how smart you are, yeah. what kind of education you have. You always learn from debating. Yeah. And I really like debating. Learning from each other. Since this is a show to transfer knowledge, to recycle our, you know. Uh, 
expertise and uh, you know uh, pass our knowledge to the next generations it's 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 a good thing that you know you, you were talking about that you learn from people you were so open minded and we want people like that you know we want people who want to help each other we want we want people in our community that who wants to you know transfer his knowledge to next generations you know uh, let's go go back to your business again uh, I know everybody has a role model in life, everybody uh, has a motivation to do something. What was your motivation or what was your motivation to start the business? To be honest, I was pushed into the business. I was, uh, I was encouraged and coached and also pushed into business by my father-in-law. He was a school owner before I did and he said, why don't you try it? I tried it and we started in uh, March 28, 2012. Now we're almost, you know, six years now. And we started with one office, now we have 11 offices in our office. That's really wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, as you know, if we work hard, uh, if we want to accomplish in life something, then Saiful is a great example, you know. He have worked hard, he started with one school, and now he has 11, as he said, and about 50 people working with him. Uh, you know what, we want to change our way of thinking mentality. We don't want to call them our employees, right? We want to call no. them co our partner, co-workers, we work with people. So this is also a great positive thing to change the, you know, our attitude towards people. So uh, the question about your business again, uh, is there like, I know you, you came from a different part of the world in Canada and uh, now we have people from your uh, country still here you know, and you're doing business with everybody. I know in business everybody is equal. But now my question is like, uh, do you have a like, you know, do you favor towards your people or like, you know, you see your customer as a customer? I see my customer as a customer, but I do accommodate my customers depending on their needs. So let's say uh, I have, I'm part of the Bangladeshi community here in Montreal and I do help them by opening a branch in the area where there's a lot of Bangladeshi lives. Mm -hmm. I have teachers that are speaking Bengali, male and female. I also have secretaries that speak Bengali. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for somebody from my culture, my country to come mm -hmm. and get the services they need without having a language barrier. Mm -hmm. you know? oh. so, so you have a person working in your school or more than one uh, that they speak Bengali, so you know, but if anyone uh, wants to go to your school and then feel comfortable talking in Bengali, so you you have that type type of support, uh, that type of uh, you know service services, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. When there is a need, you know, you have to provide. That's great. You know, this is really uh, great about you that you know you're thinking of your. I know you've been living here uh, for a long time. You came as a you know little boy in uh, in Canada. You grew up here, but still you have a connection. You have a feeling for your own ethnicity and, and root. This is really inspirational. This is what we want to expose to our audience, you know, to our ne next generation. We want to teach them, look, no matter where you live, no matter who we become in life, uh, we can keep our, you know, origin into our heart and then progress and, and, and you know, climb sky high. So, you know, as you know, uh, in Canada, uh, you know, encourages uh, people to practice their own culture. They encourages people to come from different part of the world. Uh, it is one of the countries that ha has multiculturalism. You know, uh, is there any uh, practices at home, like for your kids or for your family, that like to preserve your own uh, ethnic background or culture? Absolutely. I mean, look, I uh, we have something good going on at home. We speak Bengali with our kids. You know. Even though they do learn, you know, French from uh, school, English from school, we try to keep them a little touch of Bangladesh. You know? I take my kids and my family each year to Bangladesh to show them where they're from, where their grandparents are from, what villages they're from, just to give them a little taste of, you know, culture. Oh, that's really great. I know you're a businessman, you're pretty successful, pretty inspirational stories you have to, you know, you have in your life. Uh, where do you want to see your kids in future? Like, do you want them to follow your footsteps, or do you want to give them freedom that, and to to choose any directions they want and explore different experiences in life? You see, as parents, our job is to show the way. You know, meaning point them to different directions, experience them different directions, different things in life. Give an example. My son is eight years old. At eight years old, he have already done swimming, he's doing tennis, he's doing basketball, he's playing hockey for the LaSalle Cougars, you know. So, 
we're not pushing him into anything. We're giving a, a taste of everything, and then he could choose what he wants to do in life. Right. Same thing with education. You cannot force anybody into any uh, domain. Yeah. No, you can let them choose what they like. There's no pressure from anybody. As long as they're successful, that's what that matters to yes. us. But successful in a good way. It doesn't matter like successful in what, like, you know, somebody can be successful in, uh, let's say, have a lot of money, but that person is not a good person. Do you uh, prefer a person to be success in a, as a complete package or just success in one uh, direction, you know? Well, it depends, you know. Uh, if my kid is happy by being a filmmaker, mm -hmm. Good for him. Yeah. If he is happy by being a doctor, an engineer, or somebody, that's up to him. Yeah. It's whatever makes him happy. Yeah. You could have millions, but you're not happy. You cannot sleep at night. Then what's the point of having that million, right? Or you could be just an artist, yeah. but you sleep at night. You know, that's what matters. That's it. So the, the matter is no money. Money doesn't make you successful always. It has to be. He has to have uh, you know add the happiness. And it has to have a, a complete package with, uh, you know, whatever a person need to have in life in order to be happy and successful, right? Absolutely. You see, when me and my wife we started our life, you know, she was in school, I was working. We didn't have. We were just doing hand to mouth. But we're happy, you know. We didn't have the money, but we were happy. Now that after let's say 17 years of marriage, you know, we're well off. And we're happy, we have no other issues, we have two little boys, you know, and we have a great family. So money is not always everything. Yes, it's a part of life, it's an essential part of life, but it's not everything. Well, happiness comes first, right? Thanks, thanks a lot, Saiful, for your, all your, uh, uh, you know, uh, success stories and inspirational journeys in, in North America. Uh, and we, we really had a great time in your office. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me on your show. I'm really honored to be in it, and I hope you do great. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk to successful Saiful Batori. <laughs> Saiful, uh, I know probably you came here a long time ago, right? Uh, when do you uh, start? About, uh, about 25 years ago. I yeah. think it was uh, July 1994. Oh, that's a pretty long time. So, you have uh, spent almost all your life in Montreal, right? Yeah, and it's been 25 years. 25 years, so always been to Montreal? or? Uh, yeah. Well, I was in Calgary for three years, uh -huh. just to see the, the yeah. West. Yeah and came back to Montreal, that's yeah. hometown. So, as we uh, talked about your friends, uh, families, <coughs> and your business while we were in, a, in your head office in uh, La Salle, we'd like to continue to talk about your secret. Uh, uh, your business is a huge setup. Uh, how, is, how is it going on right now? Well, we're doing good. Uh, summer is almost, you know, yeah. uh, close. Yeah. And uh, this is our busy season, so mm -hmm. starting, uh, starting okay. Yeah. And uh, once the school finished, the business went much better. Yeah, all those kids from the school, they want to go yeah. and are, yeah. uh, want to take a license to drive. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's a great business, helping kids to learn how to drive. And I know you have a good rating uh, for your school too. Uh, that's Thank really you. great. Mm -hmm. And a pretty inspirational. If we do want to do something, we want to do best. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, you got to work hard. Yeah. you got to work hard. Well, you got to put your time and you know effort into it. And, uh, well, yeah. If we work hard, we achieve our goals. Uh, so now, well, uh, I know everybody has a role model in life. Everybody gets motivated by somehow like we are here. We brought you here to motivate our younger kids to work hard. So what was your motivation or who motivated you? Well, you see, it was, um, 
And so my father-in-law, well, I had a driving school for his wife. I think right? you mentioned it in the yeah. clip too, so yeah. you, can, you can congratulate. Yeah, yeah. and uh, his, uh, his only request was for me to try that business, you know. Mm. Even though I wasn't very much interested. And I said, okay, just for your sake, I'll try it out. Yeah. And by trying it out, I put my mind and hearts into it. I yeah. worked hard, you know. Yeah. My wife supported me, yeah. you know, greatly, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I was still be never home, mm -hmm. always working, yeah. trying to make it work, you yeah. know. And I thank God and thank everybody around me. Yeah. And today we have uh, a successful business. That's great. Yeah, uh, you have a uh, lot of branches around Montreal. Uh, you know, uh, in probably Greater Montreal. So you opened two, I think. You know, uh, after we uh, recorded the uh, clip in your studio in Mafego, you, by then you opened another two in uh, Brasar, I think, right? Or yeah, I think it was in the process of opening when uh, we yeah. did an interview, yeah. and uh, now we're up and running, yeah. Uh, it's right. in uh, so South Shore, Longo, and Brassard. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, well, so now I'm a little bit uh, different uh, than your business. I know you're, you're a perfect person to be fit into everything. You know, what is your social uh, involvement? Like, uh, 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 are you involved in any community work? Uh, I know you were involved with us. You are so generous. Thanks for your support, but like, what do you do individually, you know? Uh, uh, can I stop you for a second? I'm <laughs> really sorry, you have to take a break right now. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a break now. Right now, we'll be back in, in, a, in a short. Uh, please stay with us, thank you. Is it about having a huge bank account? Or is it about having a dream job? Or perhaps having a huge business? Well, I don't think so. Success is everything. It is about having a complete life with some inspirational stories to tell. I'm Anwar H. Talibdar, bringing up all those hidden successful stories from our communities to Nagarik TV every first Sunday of each month at 8 p.m. Please stay tuned to be inspired. Sponsored by Transit Driving School in association with Nagarik TV. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for being with us. Uh, so now, uh, Saiful, so social involvement. Social involvement, well, I'm mostly busy with my work, but whenever there's a function or there's uh, something that goes on, yeah. I try to be there, and yeah. I try to be there with the, with the family as well. After know? all, we, are the, we want to boost our community. We want to give a support to our people to grow, you know. Absolutely, yeah, exactly. that too, and plus you, I got to bring my kids up yeah. to uh, the knowledge, you know, tell them what their culture is, yeah, what exactly. their roots are, and yeah. where are they from. Mm -hmm. So if I can bring them to a little functions, a little, you know, whatever goes on, mm -hmm. you know, culture-wise, you right. know, it's, a, it's an achievement for them too, you know, for them to be there and yeah. learn a little something from there. Oh, know? yeah, exactly. So, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, social involvement and, uh, you know, this is also essential in our life, you know, we have to be social enough enough to live a happy life so uh, what is your advice uh, for our new generations towards education uh, especially first down is the education what do you think of education should they should they go to school and continue uh, you know like do the best uh, try there try your best all i say go to school there's no other alternative but education you know have your education do something Try different things. You don't have to focus on one thing that your parent wants you to do. I mean, all our parents wanted us to be a doctor, engineer, or something, you know. But you need to focus on other avenues. You know, there's other things in life that you can be successful in, either it's business or different hobbies that you have, art, sports, you know. Try something different. Try what encourages you. Try what uh, you like, you know. And by doing that, you might find success, you know. And I'm sure you'll find success. Yeah. Success is being uh, success is success means is happiness. Like you know, you, you do things that you like to do. It's not that somebody else you know enforce you to do it. Uh, this way probably uh, it becomes a roadblock at, at the end of the uh, you know road that you know sometimes like if you don't feel interest like to do something. Well, you have to be interested in what you do. Yeah. <clears throat> but sometimes you know, I would say from my my perspective of view, you know. Even if you don't like something, but your parents want you to try it, mm -hmm. try it. Mm -hmm. It worked for me. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be in the driving school industry, mm -hmm. but somebody pushed me into it and gave me a challenge. I took it as a challenge yeah. and I mastered it. You know. Great. Thanks. Thank you. So you know, as we are talking about kids and uh, future generations, we have kids. You have kids. Uh, two lovely boys. You know. Uh, where do you want to see your kids in future? Uh, do you want to uh, you know see them uh, uh, to follow your path or? That you want to give them a different road. I want to give them options. Options. Options meaning education first, yeah. 
Second is sports. Mm -hmm. You know, my elder son plays hockey. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, uh, Hockey Canada sponsored him for the whole year, pretty much. You know, taking care of all his expenses, equipment, and you know, whatever hockey related, it's paid by Hockey Canada. Oh, that's so great. I think, yeah, that's a great thing. Yeah, that's a nice news I heard. Okay. And other than that, uh, we we have options open. Mm -hmm. We ask our kids, what would you like to do? Right. What you want to become, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And you know, we evaluate those options that our kid gives us right. and we follow through and we give them, you know, different avenues to follow, whichever he chooses to. That's great. Uh, so, so your business, I know you're doing wonderful in this business. So what do you want to, what, what do you want to sell, see yourself in future? Like, you know, what are you going to do? Are you going to continue to do the same thing or uh, expand your, uh, you know, business uh, uh, or going to explore, explore something different and, or more challenging? Well, you see, every day is a challenge. Eh? Life is a challenge. You just got to take it as it comes. Um, I do diversify my businesses, mm -hmm. I do different things, and I try to do different things. Whatever interests me, I do. Yeah. I'm not always looking for uh, profit on mm -hmm. what I do, you know. Most of the time I do it because I want to do it. I want to try it. It's yeah. a passion, you know. So, in the future, I can't really tell, but I'm mm -hmm. in the industry, you know. I have two different industries, real yeah. estate and uh, driving school business. Right. We'll see where it leads us. Mm. That's really uh, interesting. Uh, thanks. This is uh, really inspirational. I think uh, our viewers, especially the kids, will uh, you know uh, follow us. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> so now uh, there's the last question. I think we're going to you know, towards the end of our uh, program. It's a limited time. So uh, my question is like, do you believe if we work hard, we achieve our uh, goals? Absolutely. <clears throat> Everybody, uh, my message to all the younger generations that we have, including my kids, your kids, or anybody else's kids, you know, work hard, you know, work with a lot of passion, yeah. and never give up. Yeah. If you try hard, you will accomplish it. You might not accomplish it today, not mm -hmm. tomorrow, mm -hmm. but you will accomplish it. Keep trying, work hard, and be respectful. You know, you will achieve what you want to achieve. Great. Uh, one question, sir. Would you like to leave your contact information if somebody is looking for reference or advices for a small business or like perhaps like summer internship for the kids? Yeah. Absolutely. Look, every summer we, it's our busy season. Yeah. You know, we have interns that come in. Yeah. You know, they practice, they try the jobs and yeah. see how it works. <laughs> and I'm always available. If anybody wants any advice or any kind of help or yeah. whatnot, I'm always available. Just give me a shout. Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, he has his email address uh, provided there. Uh, we'll, we'll try to get his email address and contact information and post it into our uh, uh, face Facebook page, so you can uh, get that info and you know ask him any question or even perhaps apply for some internship. Uh, you know, student can uh, work a little bit and gain a little bit, little, little experience. So at the end of the program right now, any suggestion for us? What should you know? I'd like to improve the show. Look, I think you guys are doing a great job, yeah. and uh, hats off to you that you guys started something. This is a very good initiative. This is going to encourage a lot of young entrepreneurs to prove themselves, yeah. and even uh, the people that are already successful yeah. and already here, mm -hmm. they can encourage the younger generations that are coming up. Look, I want to be there one day. Yeah. You know, so I think you guys are doing an excellent job. Keep it up, and you know, hats off to you. Thank you so much for your great time. You know, I know you're super busy. I appreciate your uh, precious time and uh, thanks for taking the time to be here and tell your success stories. Uh, thank you, Saifo. It's a pleasure. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for watching the show. Um, we'll be back in a month with another successful person from our communities. And uh, thanks and until then, uh, have a nice uh, time and work hard and achieve your goals. Thank you.